As Catholics, we continue to seek to respond to the pandemic with the mind and heart of Christ. When we look at Christ's ministry, he always cared about the whole person. He cared about the spiritual, the physical, the psychological, the emotional aspects of every human being. And he wants us to flourish, to be healthy, to be holy, and to experience his salvation. I think of the paralytic where he forgives the man's sins first and then heals his paralysis. So as followers of Jesus in, in this time of, of great fear, great anxiety, when we just see so much of our normal life shut down, it's important to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and to know that he is with us and that he does not abandon his church and he does not abandon us as his people. And that as we seek to follow him, here's a great moment for us to continue to deepen our trust and our confidence in his love for us and his protection. On this Feast of St. Patrick, we think of this mighty bishop who drove the snakes out of Ireland. And we ask God's mighty power to drive this virus, this pandemic from us. As we continue to hold in prayer those who have died, those who are ill, those who are most at risk, as well as healthcare workers and those on the front lines. Here in the Diocese of Madison, we have um, sought to be in conformity with the government regulations regarding uh, protecting people from the virus. That is why in tandem with all the other bishops of the state yesterday, I made the very hard decision to suspend the public celebration of mass until April 3rd. As a bishop, that's the hardest thing I could ever imagine doing. I never imagined I would have to do it. To suspend mass, to say that people can no longer participate in the sacrifice of the Mass and receive Holy Communion. Well, what a very difficult thing to do. And yet, in the light of everything that's happening, it's the responsible and right thing to do in the moment. It's important to remember that Mass will still be celebrated every single day by all of our priests. As they celebrate Mass in private, they will be praying for you. They will be praying for our diocese and for our country and, and for the church. I invite you to unite yourself spiritually with the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that continues to be offered in every Mass around the world. To lift our sufferings, our, our fears, as well as our prayers to God <clears throat> through the person of Jesus, crucified and risen. I want to assure you that all of our churches will remain open that there will be times in each church where you can come and pray and be in front of the Blessed Sacrament, but confession will still be available. That as people are ill, and people that are in need of uh, the care of a priest at the moment of death, our priests will still be generously available for that. So even though we're in this moment of, of crisis and of fear, uh, the Lord is with us, Mass will still be celebrated and I pray that very soon uh, we will be able to come back full force, um, stronger than ever, uh, celebrating the sacraments gathered around the Lord in the proclamation of his word and the celebration of the Eucharist. Please know my prayers for all of you. And again, we hold in our heart in a special way those who are most vulnerable, those who are ill, those who have died uh, because of the coronavirus, also our at-risk populations. I also want to just give a big shout out to our priests who are doing a magnificent job of responding uh, to this crisis and, and to this moment uh, that is unprecedented. I also want to thank our, our families, our parents, our mothers, our fathers. You know, many people are off of work because their children are at home. A lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, the church is with you and if there's ways that we can be of help, um, Please let us know how we can reach out. Please know that my heart, my prayers, and my love is with all of you as we continue to work our way with the Lord's help and guidance uh, through, through this moment. We'll come out on the other side stronger, more faithful, and more trusting in the Lord than ever. God bless all of you.